All right, so how in the world do I possibly get through this Christmas season, all the happy hours, all the buffets, and not gain a boatload of weight? We'll talk about that in just a few minutes. Hey everybody, it's Mike from 1614 Fitness, and I am asked this question a ton. Mike, how do I get through Christmas? How do I handle all these happy hours without gaining a boatload of weight? I can't possibly do it. And people freak out about it all the time. I see the stress in their face. Here's my biggest piece of advice, and it's gonna get me kicked off the fitness bandwagon. Are you ready? My piece of advice is, don't worry about it. Go to happy hour, go have your fun, and make sure you eat plenty of those fried mushroom thingies with the, with the cheese and the crab in them. Yeah, kind of a crazy advice, isn't it? But in a way, I, am, I mean that. Here's my thought. Keep your head, guys. It's Christmas. It happens once a year. It comes with its own color scheme. Green and red, for heaven's sakes. It comes with soundtrack. There's tons of music. How can you possibly not be festive at Christmas? So I encourage you to go to your parties, go to the buffet lines, and have a good time. Don't stress. If we train and eat well 11 and a half months of the year, those two weeks aren't going to kill us. They're not. So have a good time. Keep your head. It's going to be just fine. The other thought is this. If you really do want to stay as level as possible, establish a better goal. Here's mine. I'm kind of playing with three. I'm okay if I gain three pounds. Because I'm thinking if I gain three pounds now, I'll cash in those three pounds come January 2nd. Oh yeah, January 2nd. Because January 1st is still a holiday in my world and I'm going to have some fun. So, three pounds, I can work around that. I can do that easily. Here's my advice. Let's break it up into two parts. You know me, four plus one equals five. It always will, it always has, and always, oh, well, you know. So that being the case, let's talk about eating. When it comes to eating, understand we're going to cheat a little bit. Here's a thought. Don't fear the veggie tray. There was a song 100 years ago before a lot of you guys were even born. Dinner, don't fear the reaper. So we could just trade it for Caesars, don't fear the veggie tray. Have some vegetables at happy hour. I always do this. I drink a lot of water and do try to snack off the veggie tray in the beginning to kind of give myself a base. Once that done, oh, I'm all about those fried mushroom cap things that I talked about. And don't forget the crab dip. I don't know why crab dip ever became part of Christmas, but I'm going to a party tonight and I can almost guarantee there's going to be a couple tubs of crab dip and I'm going to dip everything in it. But watch what you're eating if it really matters that much. They're going to have vegetables. They're going to have fruit. One of the tricks I like to employ is alternate. Start with a veggie tray, go around and mingle, say hi, tell stories, tell fibs, and then go back and get some of that fried gooey fun stuff. Tell lies, tell stories, tell fibs, and then go back and maybe have another veggie thing. Understand that you're going to have some snacky foods and they're enjoyable, so please enjoy them. But don't be afraid of the vegetables. Don't be afraid to get yourself a glass of water, all right? So eat well, but eat fun. Enjoy it. Now, the workouts is probably the thing that I'm going to stress most. Normally when I talk about physical fitness and health, I stress eating. In this case, as you can tell, I'm not afraid to eat some Christmas food, so I'm going to say have your fun, but let's talk about working out a little bit. My first piece of advice would be this, add a session. Listen, if I typically do three or four cardio sessions, three or four workouts a week, see if I can add one. I'm gonna try my best just to add something in there somewhere. You know what, I've only got an hour. I'm gonna to go to the gym and I'm gonna do 30 minutes of extra cardio. Now, is that gonna do a whole lot for you? Not that much, but what it may do, it may actually help your head. Your noodle is what gets stressed at Christmas time, not so much your belly, but we stress. So go get yourself another shot of endorphins and don't minimize that. Endorphins are like God's drugs. When you get a good cardio session, you get a good shot of sweat going on, you get this like, mm, it feels good. So the more we can feel good before we eat, which ultimately makes us feel yucky, not me so much, but others, do that. Find yourself an extra session of cardio, of weight training. Stick it in there somewhere. It'll work. Another piece of advice I, I do is this. Change it up. If I normally do cardio at, say, I say I get on an EFX machine. And say my average is 180 strides per minute. That's what I normally do, which is aggressive, but it's my norm. 
I wanna change things up because it's the second half of December and I wanna keep my cardio moving. Let's change the intensity. Let's try to average instead of 180 strides a minute to 200. They're good round numbers. Something to kind of spike my, my, my intensity. Something to change it. It's gonna help my head. It's also gonna help my fitness. Another thing you may wanna do is change the method you're doing. If I'm always doing EFX, let me jump on a side box. Let me go outside and run if it's not too cold. I think this Sunday it's supposed to be 50 degrees and I'm gonna do my darnest to go run hills at the reservoir. It's something different and it's also an add-on. So I'm doing two things to help my fitness this winter, or this Christmas, I should say. So change the intensity level, change the method, and that could be nothing more than changing the machines. Another thing I like to change is this. If I normally do 30 minutes of cardio, I may switch that up and do two sessions during the same workout. I may do, instead of one block of 30, I may do one block of 20, go do some resistance training, go do some abs or go do something, and then come back and either do another 15 or another 20. That's gonna accomplish two things. That's gonna give me slightly more cardio, which you could kind of categorize as adding a session, but it's also gonna break it up and increase my heart for a longer period of time. That is a great option. Now here's an option that I didn't think of. We were actually talking about it at the gym today, and this, I'm um, envious, I think is the best one. Try to find yourself an early morning workout. I personally love early morning workouts. Most don't, but I do. And here's why I like it for this reason. It's gonna do two things for you. A, it's gonna increase that metabolism, it's gonna increase your workload, it's gonna increase your heart rate early in the morning, which hopefully you're gonna be able to run throughout the day. The other very Christmas, very festive part of this, listen, I love happy hours. And sometimes the best happy hours are the ones that are spontaneous. The ones where as you're leaving the office, you, the guys go, hey man, you wanna stop over here? You wanna stop over there? Let's go here, let's go there. Sometimes those are the best happy hours. And then you're in a bad situation. Well, I'd love to go to that happy hour. It would be a great time, but I didn't do my cardio yet. So then you're kinda in a conundrum because you really should go to the happy hour because again, Christmas happens once a year comes with its own theme songs for heaven's sakes. So I would encourage you to go, but I understand the guilt. Whereas if you do your cardio first thing in the morning, you've already got it done. You can go to that happy hour and have zero guilt. Man, I wish that was my idea. It wasn't, I can't lie. I really wish it was though. Do some cardio first thing in the morning. You're gonna to get to go to those spontaneous happy hours with zero guilt. And worst case scenario is nobody plans a happy hour you can go back to the gym for a second session if you want, because there's that added session that we talked about in the beginning. That worked out perfectly, didn't it? But most importantly, go to those happy hours, fellowship with those folks you work with, and have yourself a good time. So, when it comes to working out, add a session. Change up the intensity. Change up the method. Change from machine to a Cybex, to maybe a uh, EFX. Here's one of the things that I employ all the time in my personal training sessions. I love it. My clients love it when we're done. Quite frankly, they hate it when we're doing it. You'd be surprised what walking hills will do to your heart rate. This is a great option to change one of your methods or change one of your intensities. So you realize when you're on a treadmill, if you keep it flat, you're just keeping up with the, with the belt. All you're doing is just keeping up with the belt. The ones that we use, Life Fitness, if you incline to two, which is barely noticeable, that's more like walking outside. You actually have to propel yourself. Now, here's what I like to do, and this drives my folks crazy. I put that bad boy on a 15. You look like a ski jumper on that bad boy. And we go for a walk, a 1.7, 1.8. Some of my really fit ladies, they'll do 2.1 and go for a five minute walk. That, my friends, will, bur will burn your bum, will activate those hams, and get your heart rate flying. But I challenge you to do this. Don't hold on when we're doing it. Keep those hands free. It's gonna force you to work harder. So just by doing that, five minute change, there's your addition, there's your change of intensity, and there's your change of method. So in that one little trick, a five minute walk is gonna do wonders. What you might wanna do is this. Go for a five minute walk, go do a workout, Come back and do some cardio on an EFX. Go do another body part. Go back to the five minute walk and you've kept your workouts to an hour, hour and 15 minutes, but you've crazily changed the intensity. You've scattered your methods all over the place and I think you can go to a happy hour with zero guilt. So we talked about eating. We talked about workouts. 
here's the bottom line, happy hours. That's really the, what we've been talking about the entire time, but we've been dancing around it. If my buddies say, let's go to a happy hour. In fact, I did it just the other day. There's some tricks of the trade that I do and I do often. Remember when we talked about food? I said, listen, don't fear the veggie tray and start with water and alternate. I do the same thing when it comes to happy hours. Soon as I get there, hey man, what can I get you? Well, you know what? I'd love a big old glass of water. The bigger glass of water, the better. It's gonna do a lot for me. A, it's gonna fill my belly, and B, all kidding aside, listen, drinking and driving is no joke, so by filling my belly with water, it just helps that cause. Stay off the roads if you're drinking. More importantly, maybe be a DD, designated driver. I've lost my calories, I've kept myself safe, and I've got my buddies home. It's a win-win-win. But listen, if I'm gonna go have a drink, I always start with a big old glass of water and snack on something less high in calories. And then when it comes time to drinks, just flip flop. Go drink, water, or let me change that. Water, drink, water, drink, time to go home, time to get home safely, and, and I'm gonna do so with not killing my weight. But listen, let's pretend we do what I do. I agree, I'm gonna trade in three pounds for some fun. I'm gonna weigh myself on the 15th of December and I'm gonna weigh, say, 200 pounds. I'm totally good with weighing 203 on January 2nd. And then it's just time to get back to work. I know through all my, pod, or all my episodes in the past, I know what I have to do to make, me, make my body change. We all, we've watched the four plus ones in terms of food. We've watched the four plus ones in terms of exercise. When January 3rd comes back around, we just gotta get back on a wagon and do what we do. We gotta pack our bag, go to the gym, we gotta go to the store and pack our foods, go to work, go live life, and go get ourselves fit. So me, I'm gonna trade three pounds for happy hours. I'm gonna do it all the time, all the time, every year. January 3rd, cash them in, it's time to work out and sweat again. Alrighty, so listen, if you're worried about gaining a few pounds, let's go through the checklist one final time because I got a happy hour I gotta get to. First and foremost, keep your head, gang. It's Christmas time. It comes once a year. And that really is what we preach at 1614 Fitness. If I live and eat cleanly six and a half days a week, that fun meal I have on Sunday watching football isn't going to kill me. In fact, it may do more good. So we'll put that in proportion. So if I eat cleanly and live an, a fit life 11 and a half months out of the year, Two weeks at Christmas time isn't gonna kill me. So don't stress so much. Keep going to the gym, keep having fun, just keep everything in perspective. But if you really do wanna stay in line, watch what you eat. Don't be afraid of the veggie tray. Alternate healthy snacks with, with uh, not so healthy snacks. Did I mention those little cups with the mushrooms and the cheese? Did I mention those? So good. But flip flop those bad boys. When it comes to workouts, add a session. Find another 20, 30 minutes to get into the gym and just get yourself moving. It'll help your head more than your gut, but quite frankly, it's your head I worry about more than anything. I see people come in on Mondays. Oh my gosh, I, I was terrible this weekend. Don't stress, it's fine. Get back in the gym and have yourself a good one. But if you are gonna stress a little bit, we can always change and change the intensity. Change the method. Add a session. Go on a 15 incline walk for five minutes. You'll be amazed at what that does for your heart rate. And then happy hours, my favorite topic. Start with a big old glass of water. Flip flop between water and drink and make sure beyond more than anything in the planet, get yourself home safely and get your buddies home safely. Alrighty, that's how I approach Christmas every year. Go to happy hour, have fun. We'll see you guys at 